Leaders of Americans say they feel tipping is now expected in more places compared to five years ago. But a Pew Research poll says that even as we're asked to tip more, few people know when to tip and how much to tip. And could all this tipping lead to a tipping rebellion? Taylor Gattoni has that story. Thank you for your service. Oh, thanks for your support. Wait, hold on. Hi, which floor? Sorry, please. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me? Some say the tipping backlash has begun. You grab your food yourself, you scan it yourself, you check out yourself and it asks if you want to leave a tip. Who am I tipping? Myself? So who should you tip? NerdWallet says aim for 15 to 20 percent for servers in sit-down restaurants. If you're doing takeout, 10 percent is plenty. Same goes for baristas. Add 15 percent for food and grocery delivery drivers and rideshare drivers. Plan on an extra 15 percent for your hairstylist and massage therapist. When is it okay not to tip? Anyone who sets their own prices, I will absolutely not be tipping you. Etiquette experts say as a blanket rule, you don't need to tip anyone who earns a salary or performs a trade. That means your plumber, cable technician, lawn guys, pool cleaner, and UPS. Amazon, FedEx, or mail carriers do not get tipped. Basically, what you do is up to you. Can I pet him? Boy. Oh, thanks. Bye. Oh. And remember, it's always okay to skip the tip. I'm Taylor Gatoni reporting.